Hi, my name's Kaylin, and I love tearing bad movies to shreds. Hi, my name's Elena, and I just like the way things look and sound. But together, together we're, we're Cheap, cheap Critiques. critiques. <laughs> Hi, everybody. Welcome to our first episode of our new series. And today, we're going to be talking about the teaser trailer for the new live-action Lion King. Now, we have some strong opinions <laughs> on this. Let's start with some positives. So, some positive I think is the casting. The casting is kind of amazing. It looks really good. I mean, it's they got a strong list of people and like we haven't heard them talk yet, but they all seem fitting. Yeah. <laughs> like um I know Donald Glover is going to be Simba, which I think is perfect. He, he's amazing because he yeah. can sing and since this one has such a large portion of that musical aspect, like some of your favorite songs are in the line. Yeah. Thing. Though I'm a little upset they're taking out the prepared. What? Because that's a great, <laughs> that's a that's a good um, villain song. Like right now, you just have to look at like the ones that's still gonna have. Like it's still gonna have like Can You Feel the Love Tonight? Yeah. And Just Can't Wait to Be King. So it's gonna have those like key songs that everyone knows and loves, like can bop to and whatever. I just think by taking out Be Prepared, which if you don't already know, that's Scar's like solo moment. It sort of shows like his aspects. So I feel like by taking away, they're almost- Like villain songs are so important. Yeah. Like taking away villain songs is so, I don't understand that. That was really it for the positives for our side. Disasters in the air. When you look at the original, it's, it's so like special. Mm -hmm. And there's so many things that like, it's confusing on why they would do it in CGI. So it's like basically if I turned on um, National Geographic's and I was just watching and all of a sudden they started talking. Like I feel like it's gonna look a little wonky compared to the original because it looks so organic and it flowed so well in the original because it was like an animation and the characters could show like actual emotions and things. Now they haven't talked yet and it's like because it's just a teaser. Thank God. But <laughs> yeah, we're <laughs> I'm kind of scared to see them talk because it's going to look really unnatural. The realism of it just doesn't fit with the movie. Like if you look back at the cartoon, everyone's super expressive, it's bright, vibrant colors. Yeah. And then you look at the new live action, like the teaser, it's dull colors. Cause it's based off actual Africa and actual Africa is more realistic and not so colorful. But that takes away an element from the actual movie though, mm -hmm. like from the original. You can also kind of look at like Rafiki, remember? He has like those like amazing colors on his face. Yes. And in the new live action, of course you're not gonna be able to like like bring his like beautiful colors in because they want to portray a more like realistic animal. Ta on the topic of Rafiki and that part of the trailer, there's a little part that we have a big problem with that really shows the flaws I think in this movie. It's a part where We're Rafiki- tearing the root. <laughs> so when Rafiki puts the red smudge on um, Simba's face, he just tears apart a root and then smudges it on. Now, the problem with this is it looked really bad, like really bad. Like it shows the flaws in the CGI and how unrealistic and unnatural it can look. Like the the way he breaks it is so ew. pigment when they swipe it across. It doesn't like look Simba's as good. Face. It like it's... looks like it barely is there. Yeah. This movie is seeming like a cash grab by Disney. In all honesty. Yes. It's almost like it's taken a turn. Like, yes, the casting is amazing. And yes, Disney's probably going to make it iconic. Like, every Disney movie basically is. There's really no reason for this movie to exist. They're not doing anything original with it. They're just rehashing the same thing. I mean, I'm pretty sure, I don't know for sure. I don't know if they're adding new songs, but I'm not sure that they will. I don't know where they would add new songs. Maybe they'll do a new song for Scar, but they're not adding anything to the series. It just doesn't make sense. It's It looks like a more boring and plain and dull version of The Lion King because it's realistic. Because it wasn't realistic, you could do so much more with it. See, like, but we think there's a lot of ways to fix it. There's definitely ways like they could fix it. I mean, it's way too late for this now because the movie's like yes, done with. Already in action. What they could have done to make it interesting and unique and not the same thing is if they did it with humans. Yes. See, that would be interesting if they transformed it and were like, hey, we're gonna make this into people instead of just animals. Cause it could totally translate perfectly. Yes. It's based off Hamlet, which was with people. Yes. It's a Shakespeare play. So it would make total sense for them to just translate it into humans. I mean, imagine it. Just like they're like in a tribe and like all this, like it can be like within like yeah. a community and it could be showing African culture too, yeah. which would be really cool. And a young boy like coming of age into like kingship. <laughs> and they have another iconic cast. 
So along with all these things, honestly, like, that cast could probably just play them in a live action. I just hope it turns out good because I've previously liked all the Disney oh, live yeah. actions. Like I loved them. See, even though I'm going to crit I critique it and I see plenty wrong with it, I'm still probably going to contribute to the problem and go see it see. in theaters when it comes yeah. out. And yes. I mean, we're going to just wait till the actual trailers come out because. I'm really scared for hearing them talk. I mean, it's <laughs> from now, it's just the trail, the teaser, so we don't really know what they're doing, but this is just what we're gathering from the teaser. That's enough from us, so this is a sign-off from Chief Critiques. See you next time.